The Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, good afternoon. The unsettled weather continues here across the Wabash Valley. It's not across the whole region, but some spotty areas here for our afternoon. You can see the light rain showers just to the southwest. Areas like Robinson making their way to Newton, down to Vincennes. Not a lot of heavy rain. In fact, some of this might not actually been hitting the surface. It might just be some light sprinkles, uh, not even making it to the ground. But once again, that's just south of Casey, Interstate 70. There's that small patch right there through part of the Illinois counties. We take a wider view of that. Stronger storms are off to the south. You look west, though, because that's usually what we do and there's not much happening there. So as we continue to head through the afternoon, we'll still leave in that slight chance for some showers and some thunder showers. But for the most part, it's going to look actually pretty dry out there. We'll have some sunshine continuing through the day. A slight risk for severe weather in this whole yellow region. That's stretching all the way down to Knox County, Davies and Martin County, Green and Owen. Main threat will just be some wind if some of those storms do develop. As of right now, though, it looks like it's going to be relatively stable. Current conditions at 77 degrees, a few clouds passing on through a west southwest breeze, though, picking up 17 miles per hour. That's something that you'll feel when you're heading out the door this afternoon. How about some of the other communities? Well, here's the clouds rolling in and even some light precipitation to the south. Temperatures mainly into the upper 70s, 78 degrees in Paris and 77 degrees in Rockville. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon in uh, Vincennes right now, but that's where the cooler air has been because that's where the rain has been moving on through. Temperatures from the 70s in Effingham to 69 degrees only in Flora to 73 right now in Vincennes. What we're continuing to track through the afternoon into the evening is that just scattered chance, the isolated small chance for some more pop-up showers to develop as we head through the day today. We'll have a quick break come tomorrow for most of us. A few rain showers might pick up, but most of us should see a nice dry, uh, dry day come tomorrow. And then we'll continue to have the warm and muggy conditions, those humid conditions that we've seen the past few days. Here's what we have going on. Low pressure to the north, swinging in a cold front, but you're not going to notice it. It's not going to get much colder as we head through the track of our afternoon. All it's really going to do is provide some energy to spark up a few rain showers. But as we've noticed so far today, most of that just hasn't been able to develop here across the region. What's happening is we have more stable air aloft, and that's just inhibiting those storms from developing. So that's just knocking us out and just leaving us with some cloud coverage through the day to day. We get into this evening hours, and there's a few spotty showers. And if you're going out to the Rex baseball game, I hope to see you there. We'll have temperatures into the lower 80s and about a 20% chance to see some rain. But I think that we will be all good by the time that game starts to pick up. Going through the future cast, though, we get to Wednesday night, a few spotty showers. But other than that, it does dry up by the time we reach into our Thursday. Let's look at our seven day forecast real fast. We do have some rain all the way through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but temperatures are going to run from the 80s down into the lower 70s by Sunday. 